So, I mean, it can vary, right? There's, there's, just, there's so much, um, so many things can vary there. But when it comes to their feet, for example, um, goalkeepers giving them giving themselves range. And what I mean by that is when they receive the ball and they don't take an appropriate touch that allows them to, like, an appropriate touch is going to mean if I've got the ball behind me, I want to make sure my angle touch takes it away from the goal. But it still allows me to have a range of I can, with that touch, play a short pass or a long pass and not have to take another touch. If I take a tight touch, I can't play a long pass because I haven't got the swing room to do it. So that's pretty common that you see goalkeepers having to take multiple touches before they play the ball out because they're not thinking about that first touch um, to give them range. And then the second thing is the goalkeepers having, um, I will say, like goalkeepers having different tools in their toolbox. So having a different way of being able to distribute the ball. So in America, the very common thing is you hear you hear the word punt a lot, and and all my goalkeepers I've ever worked with will, will chuckle at this because they've heard me say it a million times. That word drives me nuts because for me it's, a, it's an American football term that means kick the ball as far as you can. Is what they do when in American football. Right. Um, and 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 you will hear it across the pitches in all of America. You will hear, um, you know, whenever the goalkeeper got the ball in the hand, you'll hear parents, coaches, whatever, shouting, punt the ball, punt the ball. And for me, it drives me insane because I want to teach my goalkeepers to, hey, every time you've got the ball in your hands, there's an opportunity for you to build something, pass something, um, try and get a moment of attacking going for your team. And that means there has to be a thought process from A to B. Like, what technique are you going to use to get the ball to your left forward? Um, are you going to hit it as a half volley? Are you going to hit it as a full volley? Are you going to hit a drop kick? Um, are you going to hit a sidewinder, as we call it? And everyone's got every coach has got slightly different names for those type types of kicks, but um, they have to have range. And, and, and kids don't get taught different techniques early enough. Where when they get to 17, 18 years old, and they can only kick the ball one way. It drives you insane because at the end of the day, like you've got no range and you need to have range to be able to adapt to how deep or high your team's sitting, and to how good your first touch, second touch is from um, from your teammates, um, how well they can control the ball in the air or off the ground, etc. You've got to be able to cater to those things to help your team succeed. And goalkeepers need to have range, and that's something that I still don't see enough of in the in the, in the youth game here. That coaches giving the time to goalkeepers to work on range and giving them different techniques to work on.